Hey crafty family, it's me! And today we're going to do some playing with our distress oxides. And as you can see, yes, more ATCs. And you're probably thinking, what's with all the ATCs lately? Oh my God, give me a break. Well, before you hang me, um, in my group, the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground, if you haven't heard of it, I mean, come on. By now, really? Come on. Link is in the description. But um, in our group, we're doing a challenge all the way up until July 10th um, to do some ATCs and then, you know, give them out as what we call in our group poodle packages, which are random acts of kindness, happy mail, yada, yada, or trade them with each other. And I'm, you know, and plus, besides that, even if you're not in my group, even if you don't care, these ATCs make fantastic screw it and do it projects because they're nice and small you can cut up like if let's say for like the month you can cut up 30 of them and every day do one and by the end of the month you have a cool small look into your artwork and what you do even if you don't have time to create a lot screw it and do it just 10 minutes and you could do something now obviously today's probably gonna be longer than 10 minutes but if you only have 10 minutes and you pre-cut your cards then all you have to do is sit down and you know create for 10 minutes and somebody in my um comments and i forget who they said it was i think they said it was tammy bracket who was another youtuber um i don't watch a whole lot of her stuff but um she has something like a bag that she put together and I can't remember what they called it, but it was like a little bag of stuff that you have just to work on some things quickly. So whether or not you take that little bag with you out to the, by the TV or in your living room or your dining room, and that's what you use to do like your, you know, you could do something like that for your screw it and do it. You can call it your screw it and do it bag and just have a bag of like, Hey, I'm going to grab three colors of oxides and I'm going to grab you know, a couple of my twinkling H2Os and a couple of water brush, you know, water brushes and a couple of this and a couple of that and put together for yourself a little bag that you can, you know, you could take it with you if you have, you know, if you're a commuter and you go on a train or something, it's something where you can travel and sit and do. Because believe me, I was able to do work, you know, artwork in a car. So for two and a half hours, I sat in a car and watercolored those ATCs that you saw initially when I first showed them, um, I did those in a car and I made my flowers that I was giving out at the hospital when I was there in the car. So you can do things on the go, but if you're not somebody who's on the go, wants to do art on the go, but doesn't have a lot of time, prepare yourself some ATCs and a little bag to go with it of just some random stuff where you could sit in front of the TV or sit at the kitchen table or sit up in, on your bed before you go to bed and do your 10 minutes. You know, how cool is that to just sit up there, have like one of those, I have one of those little lap desks that has the, it's like a bean bag underneath of it and it's a solid top. And that's what I brought, bring with me in the car. But get yourself one of those and have your bag with things that are not messy and do some screw it and do it projects before you go to bed for 10 minutes. And how relaxing will that be? And make your mind, you know, unclutter. It's kind of like art yoga, you know? Um, yeah. That's what you can call it, your art yoga bag, where you just do your 10 minutes to relax and free yourself of, you know, the day and before you go to bed to kind of make your mind stop racing. You can use it for, you know, your relaxation to have your little bag and sit there for 10 minutes and do, you know, a few little things. So how cool would that be? You know, everybody should have like an art yoga bag, you know, just something where they can you know, de-stress with and make that your, your bag of tricks that you have for your art or, you know, or, or if you have your craft room, you could just come into your craft room. You don't have to have a bag, but if you feel like that would be a better way to do your screw it and do it projects to have yourself a little bag and every month you could switch out the products. It's kind of like the bag that, or the box that I have for the game my prop cards that I have, the mixed media mashup, the original instructions have in it um, to make yourself a box uh, um, called a random box. But of course that's on a smaller scale of a few products that you can, when you get the card that says pick a, you know, something from your random box. Anyway, your random box is supposed to be just a few little supplies 
and every month you switch them out so that they are always different. Well, you could do that with your little bag of goodies, you know, just make it a bag that's not real big, you know, just a small little bag that zippers up and put things in there and every month trade them out so that you could do your screw it and do it projects that way. So that's a great idea. And I'm just rambling on about that. But anyway, today I want to make some um, ATCs with some oxides. And now Tim Holtz has come out with new colors, which I cannot wait. And hopefully I will not, you know, I will somehow be able to get those at some point because I love these. And I those colors that just came out are like my colors. They are right up my alley. So as much as I love these colors, I definitely need to have those other colors. <laughs> cool as these colors are, and they are half of them are extremely like muted kind of colors things that are not really reflective of me um, even the fired brick not exactly my color I don't use it all that much I still love them I still think they're awesome but they're not colors that I run to you know what I mean so the the next 12 that are coming out are like screaming my name they're they're literally screaming my name because this has worn lipstick which is cool wilted violet which is cool broken china which is cool these are you know some of my favorites right here these five. Uh, well, no, these six right here are my favorite out of this. But out of the next batch, it's like all of them are my favorites. All of them are colors that I definitely run to. So I am super excited to get my hands on those next 12. I really am. So um, hopefully that'll happen at some point. But for now, I will keep playing with my babies that I got here. And we are going to put some colors out to dip these ATCs in and make some nice fun just make some nice fun things with these and see what we get so let's do that and a little of that and a little of that and I have to be careful because some of these colors will make mud and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that purple and orange and yellow don't mix so I gotta be very careful about that. I forgot. Because when they're wet, like Tim Holtz says, which I love when he says this, um, when they're wet they blend when they're dry, they layer. So you gotta remember that. While they're wet, they can make mud. <laughs> when they're dry, it's when they, you know, will layer on top of each other. So I'm gonna wipe these up because I'm gonna go back in with, because they're starting to blend, which is something we don't want. We want them to layer. So I'm gonna dry these and then we're gonna go back in with some more color and layer a little bit, do some fancy layering. Okay, so these are cool colors. Let's do some more. So I want to do more purple on there. We got cracked pistachio. Um, let's do cracked pistachio and broken china because they will not. They're two colors that are good with each other. So tell me in the um, in the uh, in the um, yep I can speak in the uh, comments. That's what I was trying to say. Tell me in the comments below if you are pre-ordering or already have pre-ordered the next 12 colors so that I can be nice and jealous of you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you know, if you've ordered your, ordered your, um, if you've ordered your next, yeah, I could speak. If you've ordered, pre-ordered the colors from Tim Holtz, I want to know. Let those dry a second. I could start another couple of cards with these colors because I want to be jealous of you getting your distress inks because I was a little late to the game. I was so thrilled that I was able to get these from a, um, a viewer actually sent them to me, which was amazing. I was so happy to get these and play with them. So excited. But of course I was a little late to the party. Everybody had already done everything, but that's okay because I at least got to see what everybody, what the fuss was about and what everybody was going to do with them. So 
if I, you know, if, if things go well, maybe with my YouTube money in July, maybe, which I say things like that, but it, things don't ever go, <laughs> things don't ever go well enough for me to do that. One of the ladies in my group had said that she pre-ordered hers and got them on Etsy, got all 12 of them for like under $50, which was pretty remarkable. So I'm hoping that um, I have $50 to spend when I get my YouTube money, but we'll see. I have no idea if that's possible. I'm gonna do some more of the yellow and the orange something always comes up that makes it so i can't spend money on things i want i have to spend it on things i need which you know story of most people's life what are you gonna do right um so it's fine it, it'll be fine either way what are you gonna do up some more with this and with this and with this at this point it's mostly just yellow that's left and then we'll do some more pink and purple and some more pink so then some purple and just let that color kind of melge around. We'll even put some more layers on these and dry them up. many as I want to work with so from now on I'm not gonna start any new ones right now all right we got some cool colors I think mm, that one might be done I don't know but we're gonna add more because I want to add more to this one more to this one more to that one so let's see let's go with the fired brick and the faded jeans to add a little darkness So out of the new colors, because if you haven't seen, uh, you need to go to Tim Holtz uh, YouTube and check out the new colors because he showed them. And out of the new colors, if you have seen them, or if you haven't, go see them. Um, what are your favorites? Um, What are some of your favorites? Tell me that in the comments. Because, let me tell you. Let me tell you, hunty. My favorites are definitely the blue one, which I can't remember the name of offhand. I was trying to think of it earlier, too. I'll have to look at my, my regular distress inks because I know I have it in my distress inks. But it's one of my favorite blue ones, and I can't remember it offhand because my brain's not working. But it's that one I'm really excited for, and I'm really excited for um, the picked raspberry, which I think that's the pink one that's coming out. Yes, those two I'm so excited for. Oh, and the seedless preserves. Like, those three colors are my queens. I love them. They are awesome colors. So I'm looking forward to those. Um... Well, I'm looking forward to all of them because, like, the first one of the first things he says is, "Oh, this is this is you know the brights palette, you know bright colors." And I was like, "Yay, that's me! I love my bright colors." So, um, I really it's hard for me to pick anything really, to be honest. It's too hard to pick. Let me dry these and then I'll dip them back in there. All right, you need just a little more of that red. So do you. that they are coming out with all the distressing colors in the oxides that is exciting 
Okay, so we got some pretty cool looking things. You notice I didn't do any of the water splatting thing in this, and there's a reason for that, and uh, we're gonna do some of that. But I wanted to get a good amount of color, which this one I'm not even, this one I might add a little more color to. Um, I wanna make sure there's as least white space as possible. Um, I might add a little more to that one as well. So for these, I think these are fine. I'm gonna move these over because I also thought that I would like to do some just book page. I don't know why. I just want to do some book page. Um, so I might try to do some book page. <laughs> I don't know. I'll start off with the pink and the purple. Maybe the pink, the purple, and the broken china. And I want to do some book pages because I thought about that and I was like you know what I've not done and I've not seen anybody do is some book page you know uh, with the distress inks or the distress oxide so yeah so I'm all for that so let's see let's add some more color to these let's add a bit more pink to that one and some blues. Dry this for a second. All right, now let's add some of the orange and the yellow, the fossilized amber, and we'll go in and do some of this, yeah, yes, definitely good, nothing left on there, let's dry it, and then we can do some of the faded jeans and cracked pistachio. actually going to do this color and pink because I want to add a little more pink to it and I think those two colors will look cool I think side by side a little I think I'm going to do more purple What I like about the book page is that you could, I didn't think this was going to happen, but you could still see the, the writing underneath. I thought because these are so opaque that they would cover up any writing, but it really didn't. You could still see it, which is really kind of cool. I really like that. Um, I might have done it on book page one of the times. I don't remember, honestly, so that's why I wanted to do it, because I couldn't remember. And I didn't look through my painted papers, because I probably have something in my painted papers where I did it, but I didn't look through it before I started filming so whatever okay so now we've got all these I'm gonna move that one aside and we're gonna work on the ATCs and um, I seen this done uh, on Karen's corner um, she's another youtuber um, and she did this on hers where she took a stencil and got these I can use as heavy things you need something a little heavy and what you do is you take the stencil and you spray some water on it and of course I don't want that much water and then you plop it over the ATC or whatever you're working on and you let the wet stencil sit on the oxidized the inks 
let it sit on the inks so that it gets a good contact and let it dry for a few minutes. I don't know how long exactly, so I could probably do it with another stencil with something else that's heavy and do it, get a few of them going. Maybe I could do two together with this one. Uh, I have a book over here I could use. And maybe what I'll do is I'll let it sit and dry completely and I'll do these two here. And we'll do a few at a time. I should have done two under that one, but my brain, my brain doesn't work. So I'll spray this stencil down and then I'll lay it on these two here. Put this book on it like so. And then I'll move this over here like so. And then I'll do two more right here. Or I don't know why I'm turning them over. I'll do two more right there with the alphabet stencil. Let's see, I do have another book that was given to me in Happy Mail, which I'm sure will do the job. This book here that was given to me recently, that'll do the job. Oh, hold on. Okay. So I will wet this stencil. So I don't want it to be. I don't think it matters. And put this here and then put this book on it like that. Now I'm going to shut off the camera and give these like 10 minutes to dry and then we'll come back and see what they look like. I will be right back. Okay so it has been like 15-20 minutes. I let it sit longer than I expected it to. Um, so we are going to pick up all the books and take them off and see what we get hopefully we get something otherwise i'm gonna be mad I'm gonna be mad oh we barely got anything <laughs> we got a little something got a little something oh we got a little something got a little something let's see i feel like i we got a little something it's not very dramatic but it's still very cool looking so I'm not going to complain. I got on here some circular structures. I don't know if you could tell. It's really cool. Um, I actually don't mind it. I, I'm, uh, I want to do it some more and see it. Maybe I'm not putting enough water on. What I might do is on here. So let's try it on here um, and see what we get. I mean, that looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool. We just gonna do it again. I might do it with these two since these don't have edges. I'm gonna spray them with a little bit more water. I'm gonna do it over towards me so that I don't get everything all wet. And then we're gonna lay the books on it. I'm gonna soak it a little bit more with water and then lay it down. And soak this one a little more with water and then lay it down and now take the book one book should be plenty because it is a book page out of this book so one book page we'll stick this up here we'll stick this up here and we'll stick this up here and we'll be back in like 10 minutes or so be right back okay so now I'm going to take off the books and the glue and gesso and the other book and let's just see this time what happened <laughs> nothing because I didn't let it dry long enough I don't think okay well I should have let it dry longer on there but I didn't because I really wet them so that's okay so basically this was an epic fail <laughs> nothing worked I didn't, I, don't, I think it's I don't, I didn't leave these on long enough because I had wet them so much more. I don't know. All I know is for the little bit of crap that I did get on these, it wasn't worth all the fuss. So, anyway, <laughs> um, I did get 
patterning here and there, but whatever. It wasn't really that worth it, honestly. It would be more worth it to do it um, the other way where, like, for instance, on this one where I got very little patterning, if I, you know, do something like this, and spray through the stencil and let it sit and then blot it up I think is a better is a better well that didn't work very well either probably because I had wet it so much and had already taken off so much that it's probably not gonna well this one I didn't do so here we go we could do this one let's do it with this one since that one's now soaking wet this is the only one I have not done anything to so now that it's got it still has fresh ink on it I haven't tried to wet it or do anything to it so if I do it with this one and it's best if you hold it as flat as you can like so so that the least amount of ink goes underneath of it and then blot it You get some more pet well some eh. epic fail it works a little bit I've done it before so I know it works I don't know why it's not working today that that part of it but you know what are you gonna do what are you gonna do not everything is gonna work perfectly or you can just do this and take um, you know if all else fails can take some white ink and do that and there you go and then on this you could spray that lightly and do that you know there you go turn a fail into a not so fail <laughs> I don't know either way I had fun putting color on there we go that works best and it took a lot less time I didn't have to set up books and go through all that trouble and wait 10 minutes I got instant results there you go get yourself some white ink <laughs> I mean I did get results on these as long as you let it dry completely you get results um, which I did not on the book page. I did not let it dry completely. You could still see the somewhat of a patterny type of thing, but I didn't let it dry completely and that's the biggest problem. So either way, the moral of the story is to try some stuff out and see what happens. And when you do try it, sometimes it's not going to work all the way. Sometimes it'll work. Like you can see there's pattern. There's pattern in there. Sometimes it works better than others, but you know, other times it doesn't so when all else fails you can make it fake it by using white ink because they both look better than the other ones I did <laughs> and that took 10 seconds so meh. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, it's not the biggest most amazing thing in the world but hey I've got some more ATC's now all I gotta do is back them with a little um, something and I can add a quote or something else to this to, to make them look pretty and send them out or you could just send them out just like this because they're pretty um, either way you can add a little glitter and yeah you got some cool fun patterned ATC's so I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of a fail, but that's okay. I don't mind. Not everything's got to be perfect. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love. Love what you do. Be nice to people. And don't forget to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up, even though 
well you can give it a thumbs down if you want <laughs> um no seriously give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll talk to you guys later don't forget tomorrow i'm doing a live stream at 10 p.m central time for the pajama party so make sure you come back to my channel for that if you're a night owl like me and will be up otherwise it will be recorded and it will be on my channel the following day so you can watch the recording of the live stream have a good day everybody bye